Most people would assume that you'd have to work well into adulthood to pull off some of these incredible antics, but those people couldn't be more wrong. There are some incredible kids out there who have incredible talents, and in many cases could even outcompete adults in their same fields. Ready to meet these extraordinary kids? Let's get it on! Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. With the biggest personal Instagram account in the world, it's safe to say that pretty much everyone's heard of Cristiano Ronaldo. The global soccer phenomenon is widely regarded as one of the best in the world, and it seems his genes are strong, because his son, Cristiano Ronaldo Jr., seems to have picked up a thing or two about football from his pops. While his famous father played for Juventus in Turin, Italy, Ronaldo Jr. was put on the under-9 Juventus team and has been absolutely crushing it. In one season where his father scored a total of 34 goals, Ronaldo Ronaldo Jr. nearly doubled that with a whopping 58 for his team. Maybe instead of Jr., they should be calling this kid Cristiano Ronaldo 2.0. <laughs> Colin Jin. Parents usually put their kids in team sports sometime around the age of 9 or 10, but in the case of Colin Jin, he was the one who wanted to be on a team at only 4 years old. His natural interest in the game of basketball came at such a young age, but his body was already doing things that most grown men can't accomplish. At only 10 years old today, Colin has been invited to events with professional players to show off his wicked skills that are practically on par with the Harlem Globetrotters. Not only is he skilled, but he's a bit of a ham for the camera, pulling off crazy dribbling tricks that usually take years to master. With his level of agility, speed, skill, and handling at such a young age, there's little question that Colin Jin is definitely going places. Ryusei Imai in the world of martial arts, there aren't many names as big as Bruce Lee. The Chinese Kung Fu master is still spoken as one of the greatest to ever live, and has inspired every generation to come since him, and that very much includes Ryusei Imai. The Japanese boy began watching Lee's films at the ripe old age of one, and quickly became obsessed with copying the flashy martial arts tricks shown off by his idol. But much like his hero, Ryusei takes his training incredibly seriously, doing 90 minutes of training when he wakes up at 6 a.m and after he gets home from school. The internet fell in love with the eight-year-old prodigy when a video of him perfectly matching every move in a famous Bruce Lee film with eerily perfect precision was posted. And just look at those moves, every second perfectly mirrored without even having to look at the screen. If you're into martial arts, and let's face it, who isn't? Ryusei Imai is certainly a name you won't stop hearing anytime soon. Rudolph Ingram at just seven years old, Ingram has become a social media phenomenon with his absurd speed, gaining him a couple of nicknames, mainly Blaze the Great, but some people are starting to call him by another name, the next Usain Bolt. The seven-year-old superstar is definitely well on his way to matching and probably even surpassing the Jamaican legend, with his insane record of 100 meters in 13.48 seconds. For context, that's about the length of a football field, and at an average walking speed, it would take about 75 seconds seconds to walk that distance. Currently, Usain Bolt holds the record for the 100 meter dash at a blisteringly fast 9.58 seconds. But with plenty of time for his legs to grow a bit, it's likely that Blaze the Great is coming for that title, and fast. Roman Marcote of all the biggest team sports, hockey is probably seen as one of the roughest, with its famous all-out brawls and blisteringly cold temperatures. And while that might seem a bit too tough for most kids, Roman Marcote is absolutely not most kids. The Alaskan-born boy started training in skates at the age of two before he could even talk, but that's probably due to his brain being more focused on athletic pursuits. While he may not have had a lot of experience walking yet, he took to the ice like a champ, quickly becoming more adept on skates than on his feet, and that was when his father knew that Roman would become one of the greats. Since then, the two have never taken a day off, and Roman's training videos, originally posted as just a way to show his progression, started getting some real attention. After all, people take notice when they see something amazing, and watching a kid who could easily upstage professional-level hockey players definitely fits the bill. Roman is so good that he had to be put on a local hockey team with boys much older than him, and even with that seeming disadvantage, he's constantly the MVP of everything every game. I kind of feel sorry for the parents of any team that's got to go against him. Maxim Reznichenko 
How early can you start training a true champion? In the case of astounding young athlete Maxim Reznichenko, his parents had a feeling that he would be something special in the world of sports before he even left the womb. By the age of 18 months, when some kids haven't even started speaking yet, Maxim was conquering slopes on a set of skis, a task even adults with a lot of experience using their legs have difficulty with. Maxim's only five years old now, but he's accomplished more athletic feats in his short time than most people ever will. Just just to name a few, he's able to drive a four-wheeler, jet ski, roller skates, snowmobiles, and even BMX bikes. As if that wouldn't be impressive even for an adult, Maxim also partakes in track and field, gymnastics, rock climbing, tumbling, swimming, and believe it or not, parkour. With a resume like that at such a young age, it's actually pretty believable when he says he wants to grow up to be a superhero. Jackson Goldstone Lots of people bike to school or work every morning, but there probably aren't many parents that would trust their kindergartner to do so alone. That's probably because they're not the parents of Jackson Goldstone, a BMX viral sensation who turned his commute to class into an extreme sporting event. While most people would probably be terrified by the thought of jumping a bike off a hill or off a table, that's just part of Jackson's daily routine. In his online debut at just five years old, the boy was showing off some serious spins, jumps, and tricks on his two-wheeler that even adults couldn't land. But that was more than six years ago, and just wait till you see how far the 11-year-old Jackson's come. Being in the air is pretty much just like freedom for me. Whoa! Looks like his skills seriously scaled up with him. At this rate, maybe he'll be jumping Mount Everest by the time he's 18. Tyler Armstrong. Mountain climbing isn't exactly for everyone. What with the dizzying heights, the fear of avalanches, and the crazy amount of physical strength and stamina needed to even get started, most people stay far away from the extreme sport. But of course, Tyler Armstrong isn't like most people. By the young age of eight years old, Tyler had already become the youngest person in history to climb Mount Whitney and had bested Africa's tallest mountain, Kilimanjaro, something that the majority of adults who attempt fail at. But with an early start like that, it's obvious obvious that Tyler wasn't satisfied, and just a year later he managed to conquer the tallest peak in the southern hemisphere, Mount Aconcagua in Argentina, coming in at an insane 22,841 feet tall. Only one in three people who try to climb Aconcagua succeed, and usually the age limit is 14. Tyler's parents actually had to hire a lawyer to get permission for their son to even get near the mountain. <laughs> We're pretty sure that once they saw his climbing skills, the Argentinian government didn't need Need much time to come to a decision. Now at just 16 years old, he's conquered mountains all over the world and currently has his sights set on doing the Big Seven, the tallest mountain on every continent. With his early start, he's already got about half the list down, and there's no doubt he'll probably finish the list before he's even done with high school. AJ Stunts how old were you when you first learned to ride a bike? Seven? Ten? How about less than two? Meet AJ Stunts, the youngest BMX stunt rider in the world. You heard that right, stunt rider. As soon as AJ had figured out the basics of how to walk, he was already off on two wheels, arguably mastering biking before running. He was such a natural at it that he actually attracted the attention of professional stunt rider Jason Pullman, who took the little prodigy under his wing and was so blown away that it wasn't long before the two began and traveling and putting on stunt shows together when AJ was only six years old. It isn't every day you get to see a first grader pull off the kinds of tricks that even the bravest of adults would cower away from. So AJ's shows always attract huge crowds as he pops wheelies, jumps ramps, and pulls off whatever this insane display of balance is called. AJ has even brought others into the act with him, jumping over 15 people with ease. Those people might even be braver than him for trusting their lives to a seven-year-old on a motorcycle. Quincy Simmons. Most athletes spend their entire lives training to master just one sport. Yet at just six years old, Quincy Simmons has been able to conquer two. Don't let this Australian little girl's pigtails fool you. She's one of the top ranked surfers and skaters in the entire world for her age range. Just a few years ago, Quincy's family took her on her first trip to the beach, about 100 kilometers from their home in Brisbane. And even though she had never been in the ocean before, she took to it like, well, a fish in water. As soon as she got on a board for the first time, she was 
was a total natural, even landing a few waves on that first visit. Still, as the family lived so far from the ocean, her craving for extreme activities had to be quenched some other way. So, her family got her into skating. There must be some crazy balance in this girl, because she rips on land just as well as she does in the water. Her family is constantly blown away by her insane technique that just sort of comes naturally to her, almost like she was born for this. Quincy is so insanely adept at gliding on waves and ramps that she's even earned herself the nickname Flying Squirrel. And when you see how she carves it up, it isn't hard to see why. Whatever the supernatural source of her insane talent is, we can be sure that Quincy isn't going to stop amazing the world anytime soon. Thank you for checking this video out, and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again, thank you for watching and see you next time.